This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. Hello and welcome to Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. I'm Becky Parker Geist, and I'm your host. Audiobook Connection is your place to learn about the audiobook creative process and for authors to learn valuable tips on producing and marketing your audiobooks. This podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me. It is near the end of the year. This should be our last episode that we're producing for 2021. Again, thank you so much for being with me today. This is also going to be a short episode, as last week's episode was. And I just want to get your juices flowing, your mind thinking about connection. Because as we move into the new year, we're going to be circling back to some very important questions around goals and intentions for the new year and for your audiobook work. So as we think about connections, what we're really wanting to do in this time is to think about where are your people? Where is your audience? First of all, hopefully you have defined who your audience is. That's the first most critical step. If you think your audience is everyone, you need to think again, because that is never going to be the case. Even if you were to narrow it down to people who speak English, that's still way, way too broad. You need to narrow it down and really get clear on who are the people who are really going to get into your content, your audiobook. And so as you start to think about and write these things down, write down your ideas as they come to you about the characteristics of your target audience. Who are they? Are they leaning more towards one gender or another, more towards one age range or another? Are they in one part of the country? Is your book more focused on a local topic? Is there a particular area of interest, horses, for example? you know, that your audience is most interested in. These are the kinds of questions you want to start with. And then once you've defined them as best you can, you want to start digging a little bit deeper. Get really curious about who these people are. You want to find out on which social media platforms do they hang out if they are on social media at all. And in what other places are they? Do they gather in groups with others of a particular interest? Are there certain websites they gravitate towards? Do they tend to be members of some kind of associations or other kinds of clubs or groups? Now, probably the only way to find this out, or the best way to find this out, is to actually ask them. And that means that you're going to need to figure out at least a few people who you know who are in your target audience. And you want to start, real, like I said, get curious. Really ask them a lot of questions. Most people are happy to share if you're doing the asking and they get to do the answering. So you want to find out things like, also, if somebody really loves your book, what other authors are they really attracted to? That's a question that many authors will hesitate to ask, and yet it's very valuable information. You also can ask about what titles, what other books they really love. Once you start being able to gather that kind of information, then you can start doing some research online. And that can involve things like going on Amazon and reading the descriptions of those other titles that your audience is attracted to, finding out more about the authors that they're attracted to. Go to the author websites. What do they look like? 
Is yours similar? What kind of words are they using? How are they attracting their audience? Especially if they are in a best-selling or high-ranking in terms of sales, if they're doing well and, and have a good, solid following, that's a clue. Success leaves clues. So start paying attention to what they're doing and seeing how you might be able to modify what you're doing to replicate some of the ideas that they're using, some of the approaches that they're using. You may want to reach out to some of those authors and see if you can make a personal connection with them. Authors helping authors is a really great thing. There aren't many authors that are able to produce enough books themselves to keep their audiences fully satisfied. And so being able to connect with another author who is serving that same audience is a real gift. You can work together to help serve the audience. Another question you may want to ask when you're talking with your own fans is, how did they find the either your title, if you didn't know them personally beforehand, or how did they find the other authors that they really enjoy? How did they find those other titles? Again, you're looking for clues as to how you can reach your audience by asking them about their own searching for the next book for them. You might ask them if they have a favorite audiobook retailer. That could be really great to know. And if you are talking with someone who loves your audiobook or your book and they haven't yet written a review, you might ask them if they would be willing to do that. Let them know that it really makes a big difference. Many readers don't realize what a big difference it can make for an author. So it really helps to ask. So what you're doing is you're building your tribe. You're building your following which is another way of saying you are building your author platform. As we wrap up 2021, give that some further thought. Who's your audience? Where are they? What are they looking for? And how can you serve them better? And then in our next episode, we'll start talking about goals and how we can better reach our audiences through the actions that we take. I want to thank you so much for being with me this year, 2021, and look forward to having you with us as listeners in 2022. Thanks so much. As always, we are at ProAudioVoices.com. We hope you'll come check out the website, learn whatever you might be seeking to learn, and ask questions if you have them. Thanks again. Thanks for joining us for Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. Please take a moment to subscribe at audiobookconnection.com. The podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Learn more at proaudiovoices.com. Again, thanks for being with us, and please join us next week. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.